Well, what we were talking about with Ms. McKelvey, city crews are preparing for this latest blast of weather. Vince Ferraza from the Transportation Services in the city speaking. Now let's listen. Equipment will be on the roads, so we ask everybody to please stay back of the equipment. Try not to pass them. These are rather large, unforgiving pieces of equipment, and it could be dangerous trying to pass around one of these uh, plows or salters so quickly. So give yourself plenty of time. Drive according to the weather conditions. We're going to do everything that we can to apply some salt and plow the snow, recognizing because the precipitation is going to be changing so quickly, there's still going to be icy road conditions. And the sidewalks also will still be icy in some situations. So drive according to the weather conditions, drive slowly, and give yourself plenty of time. This may be similar, but uh, this afternoon's drive, what do you expect? The same thing. We're anticipating that the snow is going to come likely uh, early evening. Uh, we're going to try to get ahead of it, as I said, getting all the salters out. But with all the cars driving, it's going to create that packed snow in some situations where we haven't yet got our salters to those locations. So they're going to have to take it very slowly and give themselves plenty of time to get home. Do you expect this will be a multiple day clearing event? Like it, uh, it could be into the weekend before everything's all the streets are cleared off? Yes. This is likely going to be a multiple day event. Um, we usually do a cleanup period as well. So after we get through all of our rounds of salt, we are recognizing that there are situations where uh, there's snow continuing to fall in areas or where you have some wind rows created by private operators uh, or so forth, or for whatever reason, where the snow gets put back on the sidewalk or on the road or a bicycle lane. So that's where we then go back and we clean up those areas, and that will take us straight through to the weekend. Do you have an approximate number of how many crews you're going to have out there tonight? Well, uh, we'll have over 1,100 pieces of equipment. Um, and that includes all of our road salters and plows, our sidewalk machines. We also have dedicated equipment for the bicycle lanes and for our multi-purpose trails. So there's going to be over 1,100 pieces of equipment um, during this activation. Okay. Thank you very much for your time and stay safe. All right, that is Vince Ferraza. Of course, he is in charge of transportation services in the city, giving us a sense of what's happening in Toronto as they prepare for the coming winter storm, talking about how many pieces of equipment there are, some 1,100 pieces getting ready to tackle the snow. Also saying this is going to be a multi-day event of clearing and plowing, so keep that in mind.